New York City's first professional soccer-specific stadium, first of its time. A 25,000-seat soccer stadium for the current national champions at a cost of $780 million that the mayor pointed out. 100% privately financed. <laughs> The New York City Football Club will pick up the tab for the stadium that will be right across the street from City Field. The team will also pay up to $4 million a year to lease this city-owned land. The team will not have to pay real estate taxes. And the whole deal makes ongoing talks to bring a casino here that much more enticing. But the mayor played that down. The entire conversation around what's going to happen with the casino, that's a state issue. I don't have the powers to determine the siting of that. As you see from the conceptual drawings, the stadium would be surrounded by 2,500 apartments that the mayor said would be affordable to families making $40,000 a year or less. But doing that requires an investment from taxpayers. Water mains, sewers, um, street trees, sidewalks, catch basins. Estimated by the city at 200 to 300 million dollars that it said would be paid by government subsidies. The details are still being worked out. But New York soccer fans say they're just excited to have a permanent home. We played a home game in LA, then we came back and we had a home game in Hartford before we ever played a home game in, in, in New York. But the new stadium isn't scheduled to be finished until 2027. At least we know that there's something. Before it was like, oh, we have to play all these places, but we don't know when we're ever going to get our own home. But now we know it's coming. But it's still not coming soon enough for some soccer fans because the biggest event in soccer, the World Cup, is coming here in 2026, one year before this stadium is slated to be completed. Reporting from Willits Point, Queens, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.